complications with my vlog vlogmas intro i feel so bad getting it up so late and i i should have been done a long time ago but i ended up purchasing this whole entire trailer thing and i was customizing all this stuff and on my laptop which is brand new i just got it last year and it didn't want to work so it was kind of like stalling so i was like okay let me just go on my desktop maybe it's just a little bit too much to handle which was a little bit weird to say because my laptop is new so i put it on and it was still like taking forever but it was something where I was just like, I want to use it because I paid for this for this Vlogmas and it looked so nice and so beautiful, but then I had to take it out and switch up the intro and switch all the titles and everything and now it worked out. So I'm just going to email the company and tell them that there's something corrupt with it, but it honestly gave me so much stress. Like I, and then I also, I messed up you guys. I messed up. So during Thanksgiving, oh, it didn't work? No, I have to go. Oh, okay. So, Glenn, right now we're gonna do a quick car wash because he's got a bunch of bird shit everywhere. So, we want to get that. So, then I also messed up big time because on Thanksgiving, which I wish I kind of would have vlogged, but there was no time for it. I had my mom's intro part so cute. She was dancing and doing all this stuff and, and it was so adorable and I didn't press record and I press record and you could see the shot when I'm like panning it away saying woo, like cheering her on when I was just like watching her not, rec not recording but I never recorded her dancing. So I need to actually redo her part which I don't know it's not a big deal I mean I still got at least a little shot of her but it was a very quick shot and then we got the dogs today because yesterday they were not cooperating they're just like hell no we are not doing a uh, any intro with you today they were like too tired and then today we got them to do except Gepi was super hard oh wow okay I'm, I'm not gonna lie I feel like so like woo, like overwhelmed because when you're like on YouTube honestly the worst part uh, like a nightmare of a youtuber is having like technological problems or something just breaking like your camera your lens or laptop those are big expenses and then also time consuming things like dealing with editing and all of that so i'm just glad it is done and it is up i'm still very proud of my intro i think it is honestly so adorable i'm already thinking of idea i'm already thinking of ideas for next year tonight we're just gonna go grocery shopping i ended up boiling like the uh the bone of the ham from thanksgiving and i made a broth and i'm just gonna do like a potato ham soup but then i'm also gonna add in broccoli which i need to get from the store some heavy whipping cream i need to pick up more chicken broth and just like essentials and yeah but we hosted all of thanksgiving and it went so good you guys the food was freaking bomb like the food was amazing wasn't thanksgiving so good yeah it was really good I'm very proud of my cooking. I've come a really long way. And I know it was good because my brother literally cleared out a whole plate. Oh, I thought the truck was going. I hear a whole plate. And by the time we all sat down, it was already empty. And he went for his second. So I know it was good. Um, I've come a long, 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 long way. So it just felt good that we hosted everything. Um, and then Glenn was supposed to deep fry a turkey. But then we don't know what happened to the court because we got to my mom's house and his deep fryer his sister used it last and then we're then he got it because we went to his um, aunt's house in the morning time and the cord wasn't there <laughs> so then we're like crap so then we literally had to google how to cook a turkey in two hours and glenn found a, a whole recipe i guess you just sorry it's going in and out the focus i think it's the lighting so the turkey was cooked in two hours and he found a recipe i don't even know how we did it but we did it um it worked out so we have to buy a new deep fryer because he wants to deep fry one for christmas and he's finally off this year for christmas which is exciting and he finally had thanksgiving off but unfortunately the next five years he will not have Thanksgiving off sad but it's okay we'll celebrate regardless on another day not that I'm saying we're gonna celebrate Thanksgiving with Glenn and sorry Glenn you're screwed but we're gonna celebrate like another day with Glenn <laughs>
someone getting a little frustrated. <laughs> Glenn was putting in the wrong code, you guys. <laughs> We're just having technical difficulties all day today. <laughs> But I'm not gonna lie. I am so glad that I'm not gonna sit on my ass on the computer at all today Like I not all I have to do is just cook. You okay, babe? Yeah. <laughs> I need a pint A pint of what? Beer Okay just got back home and I want to say thank you so much because honestly I was stressing out about the intro and I was reading all your comments right now when we're in the car wash and you guys made me feel so good uh, you guys said the intro was worth it all the stress was worth it all the hard work and thank you so much because it honestly like broke my heart to take out like all these like certain parts because it looks so freaking good like amazing and I'm just like you know what it ended up working out in the end anyhow so yeah um, I'm really appreciative of you guys telling me that because it made me feel better. I was really, really stressed out. Okay, um, advent calendar time. I guess I'm the only one who's gonna open their advent. I'm gonna open your advent calendar. And whoa, so all of a sudden someone was like, Hello, more. <laughs> also, I am making a homemade ham, potato, broccoli, cheddar soup, some sort of thing. So I wanted to utilize all the ham, so I ended up boiling the ham in here. Uh, the bone. So I have potatoes in here. I'm gonna boil them so they soften up. There's a little bit, some little tidbits of the ham. We have ham broth, and I actually added some chicken because I didn't have enough broth. Right now I'm gonna saute the onions before I insert them into the soup so they're nice and flavorful and soft. And I'll just do that with butter. And then you add just a little bit of olive oil so that the butter doesn't burn. I'm honestly winging it, you guys. So hopefully it turns out okay because I want something nice and hot tonight because it's been really cold. So yeah, hopefully it turns out good. All right, guys, so it's advent calendar time. So we're day number two. I'm gonna open a Star Wars. Number two right here. If you guys wanna recap what I did on day one. I always give you like this, like little dainty things. Here's the Starship. That's what I made for the first day on day one of Christmas. There it goes. Little starship. Tiny. That's why I was <laughs> focusing. So we'll figure out what day two is going to be. And I have this little sliver from the center. And this one says, one in doubt, just add glitter. So I'm going to guess it's a glitter nail polish. That's what I'm thinking. Yep. It's a glitter nail polish, so this one says Happy Snow. This one's actually really pretty. What's it called? A Season to Sparkle. This one's pretty, I like it. You guys see that? Really, really nice. Glitter nails too, if you guys don't, if you guys can't tell. See my nails, they like have sparkles on them. Let's see. Ooh, this will be a nice topper. I actually like glitters that are like mainly toppers anyhow. Maybe I'll do a video like maybe for this vlog channel just because I open all this stuff up. Maybe we'll do like a bonus beauty video. Well, I'll just like talk about stuff and then I'll use all this stuff for my advent calendar. Now I have my Macy's one that I got. And let's see. I'm hoping it's gonna be a good product because this one is $129. I mean, I didn't pay that, but the value. <gasps> yes oh my gosh I ran out of this okay I'm already happy <laughs> because I'm not gonna lie I don't want to be like salty but I was like really a NYX it didn't like set the tone like for the advent calendar but this I am so happy for Mario Badescu facial spray and I ran out I love this one I also love the nighttime one this one is so good just like as a refresher and it honestly just like relaxes you especially like the night one Oh, I needed that. I need to get a facial real bad, you guys. I actually had a membership to Burke Williams. My credit card, it got switched because it expired and then I never updated it. And unfortunately, like, unfortunately, like the last two times, I literally got like just... Not, I can't even say credit. I lost two credits like the last two months because we are busy moving and I kept forgetting to put a pause in the account. And then it was kind of a great thing that my card switched because then all of a sudden I got an email and it said, oh, card declined, switch, um, we don't know what happened. Um, it just says like a no, you know, just call them and then let them know if you got a new card or what happened or if you want to put a new card on file. And I still have it because, I don't know, I, I want to find like a place that like literally is specific for facials and I want to do like a hydrofacial and stuff like that. I already know like some places like the Image Center and stuff when I do my Botox, which I plan on doing very, very soon. 
Um, I just do like little minimal, you know, just to <clears throat> spruce up my face a little. But yeah, are you done? Mm-hmm. Okay, what is it? It's supposed to be Kylo Ren's um, oh, spaceship. Oh, that's cool. See? Kylo Ren's winged thing. There. There it goes. Right there, your face. Blocking. Oh, I think. See? And like I said, usually the first two things are like little tiny spacecraft, and then the third one's like an uh, actual figure itself. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, is that how it always goes? Yeah, like, I already know the, the rhythm. <laughs> We've got to Good enough. All right, advent calendar time for the dogs now. Oh, no, Harbo. Oh, just kidding. Harbo. So it's so funny. So yesterday I kissed mine, so I have a lipstick mark on mine. So day two. Got it. That's when you know you're a pro. A pro. <laughs> so this one is another Christmas edition. And this one just says, say it, babe. Huh? This, say it. No. Un erwunschen and benzo. Sawyer. <laughs> there. I got a big old head. There it goes. There it goes. So this one right here. Oh, I saw someone's comment that they got the advent calendar. Mmm. Mm. We found a Haribo bag for Halloween. Want to say the real truth about it? We ate them all. No, we, we ate all. No, we still have some, I thought. I ate them all. <laughs> well, when we were passing out candy, <laughs> we didn't open that bag up. <laughs> So I was giving like all the other stuff we we probably wouldn't eat later. <laughs> there were still good candies. I was still giving like we gave Sour Patch, Tropical Skittles. Those are good ones. But we have a ton of plain M Ms in there. We still have Halloween candy, you guys. Yeah. Having calendar time for the dogs. Woof. <laughs> woof woof. Oh. I was what? You were bugging me, disturbing me. I was calling you for the advent calendar when I was cooking you a homemade soup. You ready for advent calendar? You guys, look. We have our fire going, it's so cozy. Oh, I really feel it, babe. Feels good. And then we have our tree right there. Well, that's like weird how the lens picks up that shadow. <laughs> what shadow? shadow um, no, with the, with the lens. All right, advent calendar time for the doggies. How right cute! Oh, I didn't even see the first one. What does it say? A new ball for the beach, number two. Book. Hello, Hugo. A play date with who? Quasi. Mm -hmm. The dogs would literally kill that bird. <laughs> so let's see, day two. Ooh, it's not a circle, it's a rectangle this time. And again, this is salmon and sweet potato. Mm -hmm. Joe's so impatient. Hey, hold on. <laughs> he it. I know, look at him. He wants Kujo. it so bad. Good job. Wait, I don't want his paws to open up the other ones. Wait, sorry, Kujo. He's heavy, you guys. No, give it to them. Wait, 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 wait. He's on this little one. Here, give it so to figure me. Out and he'll open it up. Oh, no. Kujo, sit. Kujo, sit. That's down. <laughs> Softly. Softly. Good boy. Come on, Mom. Good girl. Okay, wait. I want to get like a cute little poster. Okay, never mind. <laughs> you guys like that? You like it? Okay, real treat time because we just got back home and usually this is the time when we'll give him more treats. He's like, where's the real size treat? <laughs> oh, he was not satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be sneaky, you guys. If we left these calendars, it would be game over. He would literally get through all of them. No, don't try to be. No, I don't have anything hidden. That's plastic. No, oh, no. What the heck? All right, guys. Um, so what I'm doing right now, I'm putting together the train, the Lego train that goes around the tree, and uh, I'm just looking for the parts. I kind of remember how it went together, but. I don't know. I have to uh, figure this all out. So I'm going to put the camera down and uh, let you guys watch me do this. Soup 
going. I just started adding ham into it, but I have the broccoli, the potatoes, I put onions. Now I'm boiling carrots and celery in there. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty proud of myself because this already smells super bomb. I thought I was gonna do like, whoops, sorry. I thought I was gonna do like a regular broth soup, but I'm actually gonna make this into like a hearty, creamy potato ham cheddar soup. So I actually have this block cheese that I did because I made a bomb baked mac and cheese with six different cheeses for Thanksgiving. It was so, oh, it's so good, you guys. I'll show you like another video when I do make it. I might make it for Christmas again. But right now I'm just chopping up our ham leftovers so it can boil in the broth to get more flavor. This is all the ham we left have left over. So we just bought more Hawaiian rolls so we can make some more sliders. And tomorrow I'm gonna be making eggs benedict. Well, I'm gonna attempt it. I've only made it like twice. It's the sauce that kind of gets me, but I think I can do it tomorrow. And I shredded the cheese. And whenever you put cheese into soup, it's always better to use the block cheese. It just melts better um, instead of the shredded. And then you add it little by little. Just a little tip I learned. This turned out, so I thought I was gonna do like a ham soup. I don't know if I said that before, but it turned out that I did a creamy potato, broccoli, and ham soup. And then I put in the shredded cheese. Oh my gosh, this tastes so good. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> and then what really helped was those caramelized onions too. So this is gonna be our dinner with garlic bread. Bon appetit, my sweets. Then to thicken it up, all you do is you take a little bit of flour. Well, I took flour a couple times, probably like about four tablespoons total. And then you take the broth of the soup and then you stir it in a separate bowl and then you add it into the soup. Because if you just add flour to the soup, it's still gonna have that flour raw taste. So. Yum, here we go. Mm. It's good? Mm -hmm. You taste all the flavors? Mm. It's bomb. Yeah? Mm. Yay, I'm proud, you guys. So I have made broccoli cheddar soup before, but a long time ago, actually only one time. So I'm very proud that I made this. Yay. I already taste tested it, it was really good. All right guys, well we're gonna end the vlog there. Uh, we don't have batteries for the train, so we can't show you. We're gonna get some tomorrow, huh? Yep. <laughs> All right guys, we're gonna end the vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Woo!